Aloha, Marcus from Honolulu Fish Company in Hawaii, here with Chef Patrick McLaughlin from Parker's Ocean Grill in Chicago. Thank you. Patrick, welcome. Thank you. Good Thank to you. see you today. Great to be here. Um, we're going to bring out some beautiful fresh kajiki from Honolulu Fish Company. This is a, a deep ocean swimmer. It is the blue marlin. Oh, look at the shine. But look on at that. the shine on that. One thing that I'm looking for is it's beautiful. Absolutely. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. And there. dry. We're dry. The moisture. Yeah, Look at that moisture. bloodline. It's nice and cherry red. So this is the Kajiki, very similar to swordfish and mm -hmm. shark, a little firmer in texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a scallopini today. Maybe Beautiful. we can see if we can simmer that out, you know, make it a nice thin cut. A little different than, you know, what we're doing, what y'all are doing on the islands. Absolutely. So that's why I'm here. So over here we go. So we're just going to, I'm just going to cut this down here. Okay. I'm going to take that bloodline off, but I'll tell you, I want to see that bloodline when it comes into Chicago. I want to know what I'm getting. Okay, so I'm going to just take this bloodline off here. Okay, but again, this is what I'm looking for. Everyone looks for different things, but I want to see a nice, I don't want to see a brown bloodline. Nope. I don't want to see anything like that. I want to see nice and red. This is going to tell me a story. This is going to tell me what's going on. This is going to tell me how fresh it is. Okay, and, and that's just, that's, that's good. What another thing I'm going to look at too, is I'm going to take a nice thin cut, and I'm going to look for Whoa. the transparency. Look at this. This is, wow. And it looks see like my candy. hand right through it. Looks like candy. Almost, it looks like, kind of like a jellyfish. You look know? at that. Just, you know, look at that. <laughs> but nice. see, just beautiful. I mean, and it's the clarity. You know, it, it, it's almost like plastic wrap. Yeah, it is that. just that, that clear. And you know, you're, when you see fish of this quality, you just kind of want to just go, you well, know, that's and you're it. done. That's but it. That's uh, it. we're gonna cook it. Right, let's okay? do that. So what I want to do, I want to do some nice thin slices. And generally, what I'd like to do is lay this out on a piece of plastic wrap. If I were gonna do it for order, so I could do more than do a, one do at a, a time. Little, uh, exactly, and I can get some speed out of it. Pounding. Well, I think if anything, you know, just because I can't cut straight, sure. you know, we're gonna do just a little tap at the end. Okay. But I really don't wanna, I really don't wanna separate that, 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 um, the, the tissue in there, the fibers, because what will happen is right now they're like this. If I start pounding it out, it's actually gonna spread out, mm -hmm. and that way, you, when you, so when you cut, you're not gonna be able to cut straight through it or against the grain. You're actually gonna be cutting with the grain. So we're just gonna do a couple. Nice slices there. Okay. Boy, those are incredible. Yeah, look at that. It just, you know, when you when you see product like this, you you have to work with it. You Man. have to say, boy, this is something that I want in my restaurant. I just look wanna, at that. I want to do it. I and really you do. get right off the uh, right you know. off the coast here of Hawaii, and you are in the middle of the ocean, deep ocean canyons, and the water is super chilled, and that's where these fish just pick up that beautiful yes. high oil, yes. high fat content. Which are so beautiful in your in your flavor quality and your uh, your texture quality when you receive it on the mainland. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that last night with a few cocktails, of course, and that <laughs> is the go. flow from Alaska down to Hawaii, that 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 trade route right down there. So that's that water cool. is coming right off from Alaska. It's it's a beautiful thing. Super so chilled. It is it is it is a deceiving thing when you say you're getting something from Hawaii. You're thinking, hmm, you know, suntan, you know, warm, but not the case. Not. I saw some of the best handling of fish. I saw uh, uh, Honolulu Seafoods uh, employees in white jackets, spotlessly clean. It was, it was a beautiful thing. And, and what you all are doing with technology, um, the ionizer, the ionizer where you ionize the water. Absolutely. Kill all the bacteria. And uh, it, it, was, it was a beautiful thing because a lot of times chefs don't get out to see this stuff. And fortunately, I did. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I'm kind of happy about that. So we're going to get back to, to uh, Kajik before he swims away on me. Uh, we're going to do a scallopini of swordfish, or a scallopini of uh, kajiki. kajiki. And what we're going to do is season it up a little bit. We're going to make a brown butter noise. Oh, so nice. So we're going to add a little. We're going to add a little butter to this dish, but. You know, you guys are so healthy down here from all the <laughs> surfing and uh, fishing that you guys do that we can, we can put a little weight on you. And we're going to use our extra virgin olive oil because that's our friend. Extra virgin olive oil and whole butter is a wonderful combination. Okay, so speed is uh, something that we, wanna, we really want to look at for this dish because we can still keep it nice and rare even though it's this thin. And that's a beautiful thing because, you know, you don't really don't want to have to overcook this fish. But for this, we're going to, since we are going unhealthy with our butter, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna accompany it with some edamame, some baby bok choy, 
Uh, and we got some daikon sprouts to give it a little bit more pepper Beautiful. so we don't have to over season our Beautiful. fish. And then we got some blood oranges because unlike Hawaii, Chicago is actually in winter. So being in Chicago, we like to try and use uh, ingredients that are of the season. The season exactly. And right now when I was at the supermarket uh, when it was snowing, I noticed that I just saw piles of uh, blood oranges and nice. I said, boy, yeah, nice. so it looks like you guys even found a blood orange we down did. here. We did. Congratulations. <laughs> that was very nice of you. Okay. Now again, what I want to do is I want to go away from it. So away. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Missed the top. Away. We're getting that perfect sizzle. We yeah, we got a sizzle. nice little bubbly sizzle. One thing we have that's really nice that I'm noticing is I don't have a lot of moisture in there. Yes. I don't have a lot of water hitting oil. I have just the, the fish hitting it. Okay. And we're going to see if we can sneak there him down a little go. bit. Now, for this fish, I'm only going to cook him on one side. Ah. Especially if you're using a warm plate, it's going to finish cooking. Okay, so it's not necessary. I just want to try and get a little flavor in there. Okay. And if I can keep this plate, this fish warm while I make my sauce, I can easily put it back in there to bring it back up. Okay, so still going to be nice and warm right there. I'm going to flip them back on there. Oh, what a beautiful, okay. beautiful application here. So we're going to go there. And could so nice, white, creamy. Oh, there. look at that beautiful. Okay, now we want to make a sauce. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this extra oil off and just splash it on top of there. I'm going to take a little bit of garlic because everybody likes garlic. Thank you. Okay, Kajiki is now, one of those beautifully versatile fish too that you can, is a beautiful raw application, mm -hmm. seared rare. You're showing a beautiful creative application on the scallopini. Of course, a wonderful grilling fish. So just versatile. You can get your younger uh, chefs, your sous chefs, to throw out some of their creativity because yes. it's such a beautiful, versatile fish. So now I'm going to brown my butter. This is a speed uh, factor here, okay? Because what I want to do is I want to watch the bubbles. Okay. Classically, you would just splash this with a little acid and pour it right over the fish and you're sure. good to go. But what we're going to do, we're going to brown it. Try and take off some of that fond, that flavor on the pan. Okay, so we want to work it, want to work it. Watch for the bubbles. Bubbles start to dissipate. Mm. Okay, I'm going to hit it with, there we go. Now, do you smell it? Can you, can, oh, man, can you smell like anything coming in out here? Okay, I'm going to hit it with too. an acid, a little orange juice. Or the, the orange from the blood orange. orange juice. Water. A uh, little water. Water, yeah, that, that fattening stuff. Okay, and just a little bit of chicken stock. Oh, there you go. Okay, there. So now we want to get the whole pan. All right. We want to give it a nice little shake. It's going to emulsify my sauce for me. Look at that thicken. Okay. And what's happened when it emulsifies, it means it's going to bring all those flavors together. So you're not, it's not going to think of it as more of a Caesar dressing as opposed to mm. a oil and vinegar mixture. I can smell that can subtle smell uh, blood orange uh, uh, subtlety, that citrus in there. So we still That's got beautiful. our nice warm bok choy. Now we can marry it all together. So our bok choy, and we're going to put some edamame in there. You see how it's emulsifying, it's coming up together, you get a nice sauce right there. Okay, so it's a very oh, simple presentation, but it's, it's speed more, more than a complexity of, uh, of sorts. So we can just lay oh. that down there. So now I can just stick this back in here real quick. Okay, and now I got all my other flavors in there. Oh, look at that. Okay, and now we're gonna take these perfect segments and we're gonna just finish them off in there. Okay, and then Beautiful. we also have a little die cuts. Now we're gonna add a little pepper to it. Nothing, nothing crazy. This is something that uh, oh, that's gorgeous. The expediter can do while he's waiting for the New York strip to come up. Absolutely. There you go. And we have just a few dots. Just to add, voila. Oh, see. voila. There you go. Scallopini of Kajiki with blood orange, edamame, and brown butter. Chef Patrick, awesome. Thank you. And I can't uh, wait to give that a little taste. Great. Once again, Chef Patrick from uh, Parker's Ocean Grill in Chicago. In Chicago. Visiting us here at Honolulu Fish Company in Forced Hawaii. me to come down here. It forced in my arm to come it. down here, and, and uh, I'm glad I did. And yeah. chefs across the country, absolutely. Anytime you're going to make it here to the islands, you give us a call. We're going to take good care of you. Chef Patrick. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.